and at the present moment uh, we are developing uh, nine different systems for non-destructive examination of critical components of uh, ITER uh, plant and the word is about the heart of the whole operation, vacuum vessel, and so we, are, we, will, inspect, we, will, be, we will be inspecting uh, uh, critical components of this vessel, such as uh, sector welds, uh, supports of the, of the vessel, and uh, especially uh, design the welded seals, etc. So, uh, despite its size, uh, it's important to outline that uh, ITER facility is experimental reactor. So, finally what we will get is a five to, uh, four to five minutes of reaction, of fusion reaction, where uh, all the energy that will be uh, produced in this period will just release, will be released to atmosphere, so there is no commercial usage of it. But what we will be using are the amount, so enormous amount of data that will be pulled out, that will be uh, retrieved from, from, from these experimental sessions. And this will be a uh, base for us to study, to learn more about the fusion reaction. And all this knowledge will be used then for the first commercial uh, nuclear fusion power plant. That is, uh, and the construction of this one is scheduled for the 2050. Another interesting figure to bear in mind is the fact that uh, uh, ITER project overall uh, is the, the most expensive uh, scientific project so far that humankind ha has ever made. So the current uh, investments are around 22 billion and uh, to the end of the project probably it will be around 25 billion of euros. Yeah, from the technical point of view, if this is all proven to all technology proven to be scalable, basically the sky is limit. But there are some limitations, and one of the limitations is the fuel itself. So here in the fusion process we are use, using tritium and deuterium, and uh, the amount of these uh, isotopes are limited on the Earth. And uh, ITER will also give us an answer on the possibilities for so-called tritium breeding, the process where we will be able to obtain additional amounts of detrition that is necessary for, for this reaction. Scalable experiments uh, does not leave a lot of room for my personal beliefs since uh, the world is about proven uh, physical empirical methods. But uh, the problem lies in the scalability of technology that needs to follow this physical process that needs, that, uh, needs to enable them. And there is a nasty joke about the fusion that this is the energy of future and that it always will remain less so. But I think that now, at the present moment, we are really making a huge step forward and stable step forward. And the best proof for this is basically the fact that all the important world economies are involved in this project. There is a huge and joint commitment and a lot of uh, money involved in the project that is kind of guarantee for, for success. Uh, so here we are using tritium and, uh, and 